Hey, how's everybody doing? Just your average smo, nothing special. Just a run of the mill guy, uh, blue collar worker. You know, Joyce pop culture is a big geek. Hey, I'm not coming down on myself. Don't get me wrong. I'm very happy with who I am and in my life. But I'm just saying, I'm just I mean, just your average schmo. And what I'm here to do is I'm going to open this box right here. What I did was I went on on three different occasions. I went on to the Funko um, shop, you know, the Funko website, and perused what they had um, for sale through directly through Funko as far as pops, and picked out some that um, there should be. I think I think three different boxes. I got two boxes. I think there's one more that's on the way. And I want to say all together there was like six, six or seven different pops that I bought. Um, a couple of them I bought because I wanted one for my own collection. Um, and then there were some other ones that I bought just because speculating, I thought... They, you know, somewhere down the road, they may, they may actually end up becoming a future grails. So I thought I would buy up a few of them now and keep them on hand. And then down the road, you know, if, you know, if they reach that kind of grail status or they're, they're you know, they start really getting up there in value. Then it would be a wise. It would have been a wise investment, right? Um, one, like I said, I'm not sure. I can't remember exactly which ones these are. One that I actually ordered several weeks ago, and I almost feel guilty about it now um, because of what's transpired in that time. But I ordered, I think, four of the Hawkeye um, from the the Hawkeye TV series. Um, Cause obviously, I mean, they have Hawkeye pops. They, you know, I've got, I've got a PX previews one up there from just the Marvel line where he's got the actual like, in, you know, thing. It's not modeled after necessarily the MCU Hawkeye. It's modeled after the actual Marvel comics Hawkeye. And I think I've got another one. I've got one back here, but I can't. I need to pull it out and see exactly which one it is. That might actually be from the Hawkeye Disney Plus series. But there's just enough of a shadow on it that I, without pulling it out, I can't really see. But if it is, well then I'll, you know, the four that I bought, I'll just, you know, hold on to it for, uh, for the future inventory. Um, but yeah, I you know I bought them you know I ordered them several weeks ago, and then of course, um, wonderful Jeremy Renner. He is honestly, I mean, I he, as an actor, I think he's an amazing actor. I've yet to watch his series, uh, the, the Mayor of Kingston. I've heard uh, plenty of rave reviews about it, and I'm definitely going to dive into that. But, you know, other, other things that I've seen him in the past, and, like, and, of course, MCU. Hawkeye, personally, is one of my favorite characters from the MCU and just from Marvel in general. And just like with DC, I was, I was always a real big fan of Green Arrow. And I think the reason for that is, is because they're... I think they're more grounded kind of in reality, if you can say that. Because they don't have superpowers... They're just highly skilled. They're just well trained. Um, almost to the point to where you could almost think they have superpowers. That they have heightened agility or or these different things. But it's not because there's like some physical like mutation or anything like that. It's just because they train so much. 
Um, it's no different than when you look at some, like, in, in real life, if you look at some UFC fighters or you look at boxers or even, you know, just some people in sports in general, you look at them and the abilities they have and, you know, or you look, look at our uh, military. Look at some of the, the wonderful men and women we have um, serving in our military and the way they train and they, it's almost like they develop, you know, their senses way beyond everybody else um, because they're just, they're so skilled at what they do. Um, and that's how Hawkeye was. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad to hear that Jeremy Renner is, is recovering and that, you know, other than having a long road ahead of him, and there's still, from what I understand, there's still some concern about him having full use of the, the one leg. I've even heard rumors, and I'm just going to say they're rumors because, you know, until you actually hear it from Jeremy Renner or, like, his actual family, um, that's what it is in my eyes. But they're talking about there's still a possibility that he, he could lose that leg. Which, you know, I certainly don't want that. But even if it came to that, I, I would love to see him still recover um, to where he can still go out and do stuff. Obviously, you know, if that was the case, he's he's probably not going to be you know, going out and doing the same things that he did and fulfilling the same, um, that, that version of Hawkeye that we've all come to enjoy in the MCU. But even if, you know, say worst case scenario, even if he was, you know, to where he, he couldn't, where he didn't have use of that leg or whatever, I think it would still be great to see him still reprise his role as Hawkeye, but as more of like a mentor to Kate Bishop. Um, you know, and then give that, give his Hawkeye a good a good send off if that's the case. My hope is that he, he makes a truly miraculous recovery and with you know the proper again training and rehabilitation he he gets full use of his, his legs again and he can uh, maybe reprise that role again completely. Um, but Regardless, whichever way he goes, I have the best wishes for him and his speedy recovery. Uh, could have been a lot worse. Thank, thank, you know, thank God it wasn't. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of why I almost feel guilty about going and buying those pops. Because I actually bought them, I, you know, I ordered them before uh, that had happened. Um... But yeah, I still feel a little guilty about it. Um, but it is what it is. You know, I ordered them, I bought them um, with the thought that you know because this was this was his pop based on Hawkeye's first full series. Because let's be honest, up to up until the Hawkeye series, Hawkeye didn't get a lot of fanfare in in the MCU movies. He was very underutilized. They could have done a lot more with his character. Even if he wasn't like a main focus. Because um, he wasn't really, I mean, I think most people would agree that he wasn't even really looked at as kind of like one of the main Avengers. He was kind of the, both both him and I, I even say maybe like Black Widow to a certain extent were kind of the, like, if you are going to put them all in line, you would probably have, like, four Captain America and Iron Man right up in the front. And then you would have, like, the Hulk. And, you know, Hawkeye. And, of course, Black Widow. Um, you know, farther out. But I also really like, you know, Black Widow. And not just because Scarlett Johansson, but let's be honest. Yeah, part of it is Scarlett Johansson, okay? But no, just the character, too. Because, again, she's not, she doesn't have any superpowers. She's just really highly trained. Um, and 
you, know, you could see somebody, maybe not to the extent that they are in the MCU, but you could actually see somebody in real life having a lot of those same abilities as them because of just training. You know, whereas Iron Man, you know, has all his technology and so forth, and, you know, Cap, obviously, is super enhanced, and then Thor is just a god, so, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, I don't know whether this box has got those in it or what. As like I said, I ordered several different ones. Um, I don't even remember what some of the other ones that I think I pre-ordered. Yeah, but those wouldn't be coming right away. Because I don't think it's actually out yet. I ordered two of the, the new Wednesday pops. I bought two, because one for myself, and then I also bought one because I knew my daughter would want it. She, she like me, she actually loves the show. I'm so thrilled that they are bringing Jenna Ortega back and doing a second season. I would love to see, I mean, as long as she's willing to play the part, and as long as they can get, you know, get the good stories, and especially if they have Tim Burton, you know, on the reins, you know, Danny Elfman doing the music. I mean, come on. It's, uh, I can see it going for as, as long as they can let go. All right, so we've got, it looks like we got four, four pops in here. There's two in little single sorters, and then one in one of these, and then two in this, like, two-pack. Or maybe, maybe that's what, maybe I ordered a two-pack of something? I don't know. All right, well, whatever this is, it's not it's not what is in the sorter box because the sorter box is for Joshua Tree Big Mac 2. I'm guessing, what is that? Is that uh, U2 Pops, maybe? I know I didn't order that. Nothing against U2, a great band, but... All right, I know what these are now. This is the Darth Vader... From the new Obi Wan Kenobi series, well, it's not technically new. It's you know been on Disney Plus for a few months now. But yeah, this was uh, I believe this like literally just came out. Yeah, I mean, it came out in, in 2022, but I'm thinking it just came out like in the last couple of months. Um, but yeah, I got that. GameStop exclusive. Of course, I got one for my own collection. That I will attempt to find. Wait, maybe I have. Actually, no. What I did, I think what I did. Here's what I did. Because I actually have. I actually have this one. Right? But I don't have. Is this a different one? Oh, this is a different one. Okay, yeah, slightly different stance. All right, so this this is a Darth Vader I got in a mystery box. This is number five thirty nine, and this is number five forty three. GameStop exclusive. So okay, so scratch that again. Well, I have an Obi Wan Kenobi there too. I'll have to see if that's a different one. Because I'm pretty sure what's in this box now is I ordered I got two of these, so I'm going to keep one. For my own collection, and then I got one um, to put back for future um, future use, if you will, or future sale um, through my business, the Old Treasure Isle, and I sell on Macari. I sell uh, apparel and clothing on Poshmark, and then eventually whatnot live auctions again when I get enough people. But for now, I'm going to just set this aside, and I'm going to hold on to it for a while to see you know, what, what the pricing does. So this should be the other one of Darth Vader. If I can get it to come out of the box. Yeah. All right, so I can get rid of that box. But yeah, so... Let's get. Yeah. 
Then I get some. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was damaged there for a minute, but it's not. It looks like it's on the inside. It's the. It's not the outside that's like dented. It's that the plastic thing on the inside. But it's it gonna be in my collection, so it doesn't matter anyhow. But yeah. So that one will be mine. I'll have to put that in a protector and then try to find some place to put it. Hmm. That might not be uh, very easy to do. I'll find some place. Alright, so set that off to the side. So in this other box, it should be Obi-Wan Kenobi's. And I'll have to compare it to the Obi-Wan Kenobi I've got down there and see if it's the same one. No, it's not. I can already tell right here because this is, again, it's a Funko Shop exclusive. This is where he's got his, his robe on. That one isn't. Here, I'll pull this one out so you can see. They're similar. In fact, they look like they're almost the exact same mold, especially from like the neck down. But the head is slightly different because in this one, number 538, he doesn't have his hood up. But this new Funko Shop exclusive, he has his hood. I have to try to find some way to put. Might have to pull maybe two of those marbles and might be able to fit two of them over there. But yeah, so I bought again. I bought two of these, one for my own collection and then one to put back in and hold on to. In fact, what I think I'm going to do is uh, I'll keep this other little sorter box. And put this in this sort of box. And then those two I can put down here underneath the desk with my stash of pops that I'm holding on to for future sales. But there you go. If you are interested in either one of these pops, the Darth Vader GameStop exclusive or the Obi-Wan Kenobi put up um, Funko Shop exclusive. They're, they are available right now on Funko.com. So go on and get them, get them now. Um, because it probably won't be too long before the prices on these start going up. And especially if you are a big fan of the Obi-Wan Kenobi show. I was. I know a lot of people. There are some people that didn't really care for it. There, you know, there are some people that kind of nitpick stuff like that. You know, you, you got your, your true diehards that, you know, anything that strays from, you know, the overall Star Wars story and stuff. You know, if they bring in new characters or, or something isn't exactly how it was and say like books or this and that, you know, people you know, throw a fit about it. Um, I'm not one of those people. I mean, I look at it, to me, it, it almost, I, I would rather have some things different in Star Wars media. So like cartoons, movies, TV shows. As opposed to some of the Star Wars books. Um, you know, same thing with the MCU. You know, I, everything doesn't have to be exactly the way it is in the comics. I'd rather have there be some differences because then it gives me a reason to go read the comics and watch the movies and TV shows. You know, if they're exactly the same, I, I mean, there's kind of, I mean, for me personally, there'd be no point. Anyway, just my opinion. And I'm just Trevor Schmo, so my opinion doesn't amount for much. But again, if you're interested in those, hop on to Funko.com and 
get you some while the getting's good. Well, that's it. That's all for now. Next, I'll be diving into this bigger box that's got some other Funko Pops I ordered from the Funko Shop. So stay tuned for that. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. I'd greatly appreciate it. Don't cost you nothing. Will help me out. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, why not? Why not? Doesn't obligate you anything, but hey, you might find yourself that occasionally you're mildly entertained by coming and watching my videos. And while you're doing all that, do me the other favor of looking out for yourself and everyone around you so we all have a much better chance of staying safe and healthy. Till next time, everybody, take it easy. See you.